Hello friends, our topic today is spermiogram. We will examine together how the spermiogram test is done, what is checked, what is the meaning. First, let me explain what a spermiogram is, you know. There are two reasons for infertility. First, the reasons for women. The other is male causes. About infertility, 30% are male causes. This can be easily understood with the simple spermiogram test you see now. What are we looking at in this test? First of all, there are three stages. Macroscopic examination of the first stage semen. Look, here's a sample of semen. For this semen sample, friends normally, the person's three to seven days, must be on a sexual abstinence. That is, before the last sperm sample is given. At least three days should pass. At most seven days should pass, why so? Because if she gives semen before three days, her sperm count may falsely be slightly lower. Even if more than seven days pass, the waiting sperm increase the leukocyte count, may result in a decrease in movement. So as then spermia may occur, what do we do now? First of all, after the semen is given, we examine it one hour later, we're looking at its resolution. The mystery if you get any closer, now look, this semen has been waiting for about one hour. After one hour, so this semen sample should be so fluid, it has to be like now. If all sides are liquefied, we call it liquefaction normal. This means that there is no liquefaction defect. If there is no liquefaction after one hour, so if it doesn't liquefy, there is a problem with it. This is usually due to circulating anti-sperm antibodies. It may also be due to infections, when there is a defect in liquefaction. Tests, such as anti-sperm antibodies can be done. This may be due to varicosal. There are different reasons. I will tell you about them later. After looking at liquefaction, we look at viscosity. What does viscosity mean? It means fluidity. How do we look at this, friends? Let me show you this too, look, you take the sperm sample with a pipette, you drip slowly, see, drop by drop like this if it is dripping, there is no problem, the viscosity is normal. If it does not drip, it stretches like rubber, if there is an elongation exceeding one centimeter, we call this increased viscosity, in this patient, liquefaction is normal, viscosity is normal, after that, we look at semen volume, you can look at it with a simple scale. Or you can use a straw C, this is our scale. You can pour a semen sample into any tube and compare it with the scale, look. What is the semen volume of this patient, for milliliters? It is normal that the approximate semen volume is between 1.5 and 7 milliliters. After that, friends, we looked at the general appearance of the semen, we looked at the color. We move on to the next stage. What is our next stage? Sperm microscopy. See what we do in microscopy. We put one drop of semen sample on the Thoma slide. After that, this place needs some rigor. Here, put a cover slip on the slide, but we press lightly on the edges. Not from the top, but from the sides. Because if we press on it, we will damage the sperm. From that margin, we are suppressing the purpose of this is, on a Thoma slide, there is a volume, sperms are counted in that volume. We press lightly to completely fill the space in that volume so that no air bubbles remain. Be complete, then friends, what do we do in the microscope? We examine it in 40x lens. I'll show this count in the next video. After that, counting the sperm count, its movements, its shape, that is, its morphology, we are examining, we present all this in the form of a report. I'll explain his assessment later.